Hey, I'm Annie, and this channel is all about creativity and sparking that up. And in this video, we're going to go over some of the tools that I use as a digital designer. And this video might be helpful if you're just beginning and you're like, um, what are the tools that I need to use? Or if you're just super duper curious about what tools designers use. And with that, let's dive right in and let's get lucid. All right, so these are the tools that you'll need to use as a digital designer. And a quick little context, a digital designer is just a designer that touches anything digital. So maybe you're doing some animation, maybe you're doing graphic design, uh, maybe you're doing video work, etc. So that's kind of what a digital designer is. And with that, the two most important tools, I would say, one is a laptop and we have an affinity slash a liking to Apple products. So MacBook or iMac. And if you want, you can actually have an external screen as well. And that'll actually help you so that you don't have as much eye strain. So the second thing that you'll need is Adobe products like Adobe Creative Cloud. So you have Illustrator, Photoshop, After Effects, Premiere Pro, Lightroom, um, InDesign, what else is there? Animate, um, Dimension, Adobe Arrow. Those are the two most important tools for a digital designer. And sometimes that's all you need. You just need your laptop and you just need your Adobe Creative Cloud. Or sometimes you can go a little bit extra, which kind of like doing. And the next thing we can go into is a tablet. So this actually makes drawing a lot easier. And it also makes designing a lot easier. So for tablets, I have an Apple iPad. Um, that one, I also have Procreate on it. And that one primarily will be used for illustrating. So there's that. And then other tablets, I have my Wacom Intuos Pro and also a Wacom Intuos. And these actually differ in sizes. So as you can see, one is smaller and the other one is bigger. And the key difference, besides being, you know, the sizing of it, of course, is that the function slash buttons are also different. Um, one, you have more control over the other. So in Twist Pro, you, of course, have more controls. Both are actually wireless, so that's really cool. And I actually like to bring the little one around with me because of course it's easier to carry. So that's some of the pros and cons. The big one, it's much nicer to hold, like the pen especially, but of course, you know, when you bring it around, it's kind of big. And with that, I think we covered the main tools and we have to do a little bit of accessories as well. So some of the accessories is this adapter because for whatever reason, the new MacBook has no USB outlets on it at all. So get some of those and maybe have a pair of headphones slash earphones. So I have my selection here. I have some that are wireless and some that have wires. And my wireless ones, I have this Lenovo, it's like a knockoff um, Apple AirPod. And I have an actual AirPod as well as the UE Fits, which um, these actually mold to your ear shape, so it's a true fit to yourself. So yeah, so I have these earbuds and I usually listen and jam out, you know, to music slash listen to podcasts on them. Some additional tools that you might need, you might need a hard drive to store everything if there's no more memory space or if you just want to save something, you know, as a backup. So you can have it on your hard drive or you can download Google Drive onto your computers. And the next tool that I sometimes use is my camera and I'm actually filming with that right now. So that is the Sony 7 three eyes. Um, I'm pretty sure that's not what it's called. Um, it might be called like so Sony 7 III. 
Um, I okay. I I don't know my camera models. It's probably like Sony Seven Eyes. <laughs> See, no, it's it's probably not how it works. Um. See, I've never had to say that out loud, so that's why I'm like, I'm having trouble with this. But besides the point, I have that and I have some accessories, so like tripod, lighting, microphones, etc. Um, and of course, related to that is iPhone because there's a camera on there. And actually, I might have forgotten to mention an Apple Pencil slash the glove thing that I use with it. Um, so yeah, there's that. There's also the bags to carry it. So sometimes I'll use the backpack or sometimes I'll use this briefcase like bag. And with that, I think those are the main tools that I use. If there are any tools that I might have left out slash any tools that you use or any tools that you're curious about, please let me know in the comment section. And of course, please like, share, subscribe if you found this helpful. But yeah, um, keep shining and take care. Bye.